Two technicians are describing the replacement of an upper control arm on a sport utility vehicle that has torsion bars attached to the lower control arms. Technician A says the vehicle should be supported by stands placed under the frame. Technician B says torsion bars should be unloaded before any attempt is made to remove the upper control arm. Who is right? B only. Technician B is correct because the torsion bars are springs and the tension must be removed for personal safety. Tech A is wrong because it is not necessary or part of the procedure to support the vehicle on jack stands. When replacing a lower control arm bushings on a short arm long arm SLA suspension, the replacement should be Torqued with vehicle weight on suspension. The suspension needs to be loaded when bushing retention bolts are tightened. The other choices are wrong. New king pins have just been installed on a truck. The technician finds too much up and down movement. What should be done? Add shims. A kingpin radial movement is corrected by adding or subtracting shims at the top of the pin. A banging noise is heard when the accelerator is depressed and released on a RWD, rear-wheel drive, vehicle with independent rear suspension. Technician A says a leaking shock absorber could be the cause. Technician B says a broken or loose rear axle torque arm could be the cause. Who is right?
B only. Technician B is correct because the rear axle rolls with acceleration and deceleration and if the torque rod is loose it will make noise. Tech A is wrong because leaking shocks do not make a noise. Just bounce. When replacing a McPherson strut assembly pivot bearing, the technician should install the bearing with which end of the bearing facing up. Large diameter. The large diameter is always up and the small diameter is always down. There is no tapered or chamfered end. A ball joint is being replaced. Technician A says to properly check a follower ball joint you must first unload the joint. Technician B says the follower ball joint is always replaced when the load carrying joint is replaced. Who is right? Neither A nor B neither technician A nor B is right. You do not need to unload a follower ball joint, only a load carrying ball joint. Two technicians are discussing vehicle ride height. Technician A says when the vehicle ride height is too low the vehicle could pull to that side. Technician B says ride height does not affect front camber. Who is right? only. Technician A is correct because if one side is different in height it will cause a pull. Tech B is wrong because ride height does affect camber and must be corrected before any alignment adjustments. <laughs>